I'm Sandra Humphreys, the 2015-2016 Kentucky Society Children's American Revolution State President. This is the oldest youth patriotic organization in America, founded in 1895. This organization offers membership to boys and girls 22 years of age and younger who are a descendant of a patriot who either provided support or a service during the, during the American Revolution. Each year, our national president develops a project that is shared with the members in all 50 states. Across the nation, every member of the Children of the American Revolution is asked to support and promote the national project within their state. Each state president is challenged to create a project that can be shared with all the members within the state. The members are asked to support and promote the state project within their communities. These two projects allow every CAR member to make an impact within their state as well as the nation. As I began evaluating the variety of projects that could be implemented within our wonderful state, I realized Kentucky is a state and rich in history and treasures. However, one of our most overlooked treasures is one of our finest, our Kentucky veterans. Kentucky has 339,000 veterans residing within her borders. These veterans served our country by continuing to leave a legacy of freedom just like our founding fathers did during the American Revolution. I've selected for the 2015-2016 state project theme of remembering our Kentucky's finest, our veterans. Today I'm at the Veterans Park in Maysville, Kentucky to promote a fundraising project organized by the Kentucky Society Children of the American Revolution to help our Kentucky veterans that may have a need. For the 2015-2016 year, I've decided to partner with Commissioner Heather French Henry on a special project to raise funds to aid our Kentucky veterans. The funds raised will go to the Kentucky Veterans Trust Fund. I'm looking forward to selling these inspiring commemorative D-Day Invasion cookie tins. For $10 a piece, you will receive inside each cookie tin are 10 packages of 5 butter cookies. Yes. That's a total of 50 butter cookies. Also inside the cookie tins is a map locating where all the regiments were located offshore before the D-Day invasion occurred. On the reverse side of the map shows an actual picture taken after D-Day happened. Interested in a little more history on what happened on June 6, 1944? On the bottom of each cookie tin, there is a brief history sheet of what happened at Normandy beaches located on the bottom of each tin. I can see these D-Day invasion cookie tins being a special gift for those of you who know a friend or had a family member serve in World War II. Perhaps others may wish to purchase them and use them as prizes or give away as aid to children's learning about our American history. If nothing else, you can give them to a veteran, any World War II veteran, that returns home from an honor flight. If nothing else, tasting those delicious butter cookies is worth purchasing one to take home yourself. A special thank you goes to Dr. T. Pierce Lyons, founder and president of All Tech Corporation in Lexington, Kentucky, for generously donating these special, inspiring D-Day Invasion commemorative cookie tins. Remember, your donation is placed in the Kentucky Veterans Trust Fund. I'm on the committee that will decide how the funds will be raised to distribute to help the veterans. The money will be used to support our veterans and not go to administrative costs or salaries. Finally, if any of you hearing my voice is a veteran of our armed forces, I want to personally thank you for your service to our country. For roughly 250 years now, your sacrifice and time away from home allows us to enjoy the life and freedom of the American way. Thank you. I'm Sandra Humphreys, a 2015-2016 Kentucky Society Children of the American Revolution State President, and I'd like to thank you for your support for our veterans.